In this video, we're gonna show you how to upgrade from the free version of Cloudflare to the pro account. Now, the pro version of Cloudflare is only $20 a month if you pay for the whole year, uh, $25 a month if you pay for it uh, monthly. In either case, it's invaluable to running an efficient, quick website, securing your website, uh, as well as if you need to create like special rules, uh, redirects, things like that. There's a lot of options for these things uh, in the Cloudflare Pro account. So uh, let's just dive in. Okay, so you should already have your free account set up, go into your website, and you could kind of explore what you're going to get in the speed option here. Uh, this is where most of the features come into play that I like to take advantage of. And you can see that you, you have this upgrade to pro next to most of them. So like I said, you can um, pay monthly at $25 a month, or you can uh, switch it over to yearly and pay $20 a month if you pay for the year up front. Uh, in either case, like I said, this is totally worth it. You could test it out for the 25, switch to yearly later if you wanted to, but it's totally worth it. So once you pick your plan, uh, you'll go ahead and hit continue. And set up payment and all this other, uh, all the technical stuff that you need to do here. Uh, again, I'll save you the uh, boring details of do that. doing that. You can follow directions, I'm sure. Uh, once you have it all set up, you can come back into your account and all these options will be uh, opened up to you. So now you can see that we do have uh, options to do here. So let's start from the top, image resizing. Um, this is something that basically gets your images and makes them smaller on demand. The way Cloudflare works is a lot of things are cached on the edge, meaning that it's users seeing them before the signal even reaches your servers. So a good way to do that is for them to take the images, shrink them down and display them that way. WebP is the modern type of image that you're gonna be looking at. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set our uh, lossless compression there as well as uh, delivering in the uh, WebP format. We're gonna to wanna to auto minify uh, all scripts, CSS, HTML. Uh, we've already turned on Brotly with uh, the free version. And since we are on a WordPress site, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do the automatic platform optimization, but I'm gonna cover that in a second. Let's skip that for the moment. And we're gonna come down here to uh, enhanced HTTP prioritization and flip that on uh, as well as Mirage and Rocket Loader. And Rocket Loader, you'll want to keep an eye on. Uh, it does change the way JavaScript renders. Sometimes it can break a site depending on what features you have in place. So make sure actually with any of these features, you go back and test your site and make sure that it's working and uh, keep an eye on it as often as you can. Uh, automatic signed exchanges uh, also turns on. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, and then if you had a mobile version of your site, you'd want to set that redirect or subdomain there. So, you know, if it was Facebook slash M or M dot Facebook, you know, those kinds of things. So now we're going to go back to installing uh, the automatic updates for WordPress. And you're going to do that with the Cloudflare plugin in your WordPress theme. So it's available on the uh, plugin store from WordPress. Go ahead and install it there. And you're gonna come to settings and you can set up your free account here. We've already done that, of course. Uh, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and log in and you're gonna do that by entering your email as well as an API key. Now, to get your API key, you're going to come into your uh, main account up here, click into your website, and then on the right hand corner over here, you're going to see get your API token. So if you click on that, you should have no tokens, fresh account. We're going to make a new one and they already have a template for you for WordPress. So it gives all the permissions that are needed in order to do this. 
if you have multiple accounts, you can set very specific zones and uh, account resources in here. And then you're going to want to change the name. Again, if you have multiple accounts, this is important, keeping track of these APIs. And then you're just going to hit create token. And so here's your token that you're going to want to use for logging in. Now, you'll never see this again in the API uh, or in the Cloudflare dashboard. So you're going to want to save that somewhere. If you need to recreate it, you're just going to have to make a new API token, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. So once you put that in, you'll see you have a couple more options now back here in the back end of your WordPress site. Um, you turn on automatic platform optimization as well as the recommended pieces. Uh, I like to turn on always on. This is in case your server ever goes down. Uh, it will serve what's cached to your users. Um, it's, it's great. I've taken advantage of that a couple of times. That happens when you're doing server side updates and things like that. Your site is always still usable. Uh, some people like to turn on auto purge uh, the cache when you update. Uh, this is important if you have like dynamic content on the home page, things like that. It'll show um, it'll refresh the, the cache when you whenever you update. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the web application firewall. And then you still have a spot for analytics here. And again, if you ever need to purge a cache, you could just come in here, purge everything, and that'll clear the cache. So if you're ever having an issue where you've updated something and it's just not showing on the front end or it's not showing on mobile, that's where you purge your cache. And so now you've set up everything on your WordPress for speed and Cloudflare. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more digital marketing content and how to's from the experts at Kodiak. Stick around, check out one of these other videos. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see us explain, demo, walk you through, or give an opinion on, tell us in the comments below and we'll do our best to put together a video to fit your request. And as Dominic Toretto once said, you can have any beer in this house as long as it's a Corona.